Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to deploy a PHP HTTP cloud function in GCP using GCP console. I have logged into my Google account. So now we are going to create a cloud function. Go to the navigation menu, click more products and select cloud functions. Click create function. So we will leave the environment as second gen itself because that has more advanced feature set and now we need to provide a function name. This is going to be a very simple PHP program. So I'm going to call it as PHP and HTTP because we are going to use the HTTP trigger. And I'll select the authentication as allow unauthenticated invocations and the region we will leave it as US Central 1, the default. Let's review the runtime build and connection and security settings. So runtime memory allocated is 256 by default. So I'm going to change it to 128. I'll allocate the minimum memory and the timeout I'll leave it as the default 60 and the maximum concurrent request per instance I'm going to leave it as the default 1 and the maximum number of instances I'm going to change it to 5 and the runtime service account I'm going to use the default compute engine default service account and if you want to add any runtime environment variables you can add it so if you wanted to add any build worker pools you can add it here the connections i'm going to allow all traffic the remaining everything i'm going to leave it as default and the security if you wanted to add any secret in reference you can add it and the encryption you have an option to use either the google manage encryption key or the customer manage encryption key i'm going to leave it that also as a default and the image repository, you can use the Google Manage Artifact Registry or the Customer Manage Artifact Registry. Click Next. So we are going to create a simple PHP HTTP Cloud function. So we'll select the PHP version as 8.2. And here you can see the sample program, right? So the sample, it is going to get the request body. So it works in three ways. One is in the if you provide the request body and there you provide the, the JSON the name as a key so it will use the value provided for the name and then that it will use to print hello or if you are in when you are invoking the trigger if you are going to pass as a query parameter name so that also it will take the value or if you are not providing anything it is going to just print as hello world so this I am going to change I am going to say hello from cloud function click deploy the function is getting created it's creating the build now so while it is deploying let's review the other information in the metrics tab you will be able to see the metrics like invocations per second execution time memory utilization instance count once the function is deployed in the details tab you will be able to see the information on the region the memory allocated cpu timeout minimum and maximum instance concurrency the service account and all these informations you'll be able to see in the details tab in the source obviously you'll be able to see the source code in the variables if you have defined any runtime or build environment variables and secrets that information you'll be able to see it here and once the function is deployed, you'll be able to see the trigger link here. And the permissions, you'll be able to see the principles and the associated roles. And in the logs tab, you'll be able to see the logs. And in the testing, in the testing, so when the uh, function is deployed successfully, here it will give a test command, which can be used to deploy in the cloud shell and test the particular function. So since it is deploying, the test command has not been generated yet. Once the function is deployed, you will be able to see the test command here. Okay. So the uh, PHP HTTP cloud function has been successfully deployed. And here also you can see the test command. So we will change the uh, value for name to. And here you can see that value is reflecting in the test command as well. right? So and here you can see the trigger URL. First, let's validate that. So you can clearly see so the php cloud http cloud function is successfully running and it is giving the message hello from the cloud function since we have not passed any parameter it is giving the default message now let's test it by passing the parameter so it has taken the parameter and it is giving the messages hello kavita 
right now let's go and validate the third option which is by posting a json with the name value copy it activate the cloud shell paste the command here authorize and here you can see it has taken the value what we have provided in the post command and then it has printed hello crypto in this demo we have seen how to create a simple php http cloud function cp using the gcp console if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo